Hi friends, I'm Clint Grover with Never Done Industries and today we're going to explore the magical world of painting. Now before we get started, I feel like I should let you know that I don't know how to paint. I have no training in painting and I have no experience in painting, but we're not going to let that stop us from creating a wonderful work of art. Okay friends, to begin, all we need is a few simple tools and a vision in our mind. We got this board thing that I believe they call a palette. We put a never done sticker on it because we believe that that'll improve the quality. We knew we were going to need some brushes, and so we selected these. I'm not sure if the brand is On Sun or Na Snow, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna use it anyway. You see here we have quite a selection of various brushes and a sponge for some reason, and a little stick with a metal paddle on the end of it, also for some reason. Now here's the part that gets exciting, the colors. Now when we started this project, we were going to use watercolors and so we got on Amazon.com and purchased some watercolors and then through a Google search we realized that watercolors will not stick to canvas and so we had to go back onto Amazon and order new paints. Now you might be thinking that's an awfully big paint set with a lot of different colors and you'd be right. We weren't sure which colors we were going to use, we weren't even sure what we were going to paint. So we just got the biggest one that we could find. These are an acrylic paint. Again, I have no idea what that means, but we're not gonna let that stop us. It comes in little tubes. And now we're going to go through this package. We're gonna pick which colors we're gonna use for whatever it is that we're gonna paint on this. And we're gonna create some fun. So we're just gonna take a little bit of our gray. We've got a little bit of water on our brush. Again, we have no idea if we're supposed to or not. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting it on there. That We've got one really heavy spot and then a lot lighter spot around it. I have no idea why that's doing that, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. It's just about having fun and expressing yourself. You now when you're painting, you want to really free your mind and just, just enjoy it. There goes one of the things that was holding up my canvas, but that's okay. Eventually, after we've put enough paint on here, it'll turn gray. I'm just not sure how much paint that'll be. I would have been better off to use spray paint or a, a roller like what you paint your house with, but we'll just keep on going. All right, friends, we're going to grab some more gray and put it on here and we'll see if that maybe the round maybe round two is is where we're going to find success so we've got our color here it's called gray we're going to put a lot on there this time maybe it's supposed to be a little bit wet i don't know we'll put a little bit of water on there see what that does oh yeah it's wetter now i don't think that had any impact at all I think we're still fighting the same battle we were fighting before, but we're fighting it together. Typically my paint goes on to metal surfaces through a spray gun, uh, working on cars, doing automotive paint work, but it's always a good thing to explore new avenues and try new things. For those of you who do know how to paint, you can feel free to comment below and tell me about maybe some things I could do to improve. Well, we've got a little glob, but there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. We'll just work right through it. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice dark stripe with a bunch of lighter places around it. Now I assume that there's a technique painting, brush strokes, and things like that, but we don't know what any of those are, so we're just making it up as we go. This is taking a lot longer than I thought, 
but that's okay. I'll tell you, I'm I'm tempted to turn the camera off and go grab a can of spray paint. And we're gonna switch hands here and see if maybe this is a left-handed paintbrush. We'll try that. Nope, that didn't change anything. Oh, that's working pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That's really, that's the ticket there. I think we've got it figured out, guys. Look you there. I think that's the trick right there. Okay. So we've unlocked the mystery of the paint not covering. And like I said, I don't know if this is the right way to go or not, but this is how we're going to do it. It seems to be working okay. You just kind of grab a hold of it like a stick and scrub it on there. A little bit of this, a little of that, you know. Oh, look at that. We can bring that down. Oh, it looks like we're adding a little bit of black now. That's all right, we'll add some black. We don't make mistakes, just happy accidents. That's okay. It's okay if you drop your brush, just pick it back up and keep on going. Do whatever works for you. We'll go back to the scratchy stick. Yeah, this reminds me of when I was a child. I used to paint on the walls in my bedroom and my mother would savagely beat me and lock me in a closet. But I learned a lot about being alone while I was in there. So it was a positive experience. You know, it's kind of fun. Maybe we'll try it. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. Try it like this. If you're painting along with me at home, just grab it. Just kind of scratch it on there. We're working in my shop here. My automotive shop, not my painting shop. And if it falls on the floor, then the concrete will be much more realistic because it'll it'll pick up some of the dirt off the floor. All right, friends, we've got our canvas put back together. We're using some wood clamps to hold it together. Let's get back into this and see if we can make this look like concrete. You just kind of got to beat the dickens out of it. We decided the water's our friend. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. Mix it up. Looks like, kind of like cement. I'm going to put a little cement on it. Painting here. A little bit more. Well, oh, maybe that's a little too much. That's all right. Let me pull it on down. Just like that. We're going to take a little bit of our gray, pull it down, a little bit of black, just a little bit. About like that. Mix it up. A little bit more. We want it kind of dark. Yeah, that looks pretty nice there. Well, maybe make some shadows. Some happy little shadows here. Maybe there's a shelf or something up there and the lights just shining on it just right. A little bit more. Nice and dark. We like our shadows dark. A little darker. We're having a heck of a time making it dark enough, but we'll get there. There. A nice dark shadow. We'll bring it out like this. Maybe this here. We'll bring it down here. Shadows are funny. They, they just kind of do what they want, so we'll let this one kind of do what it wants to. Uh, something like that there. I'm going to take this brush here, a little fan on it. 
We'll go like that. I don't know if it's doing anything. I'll do it anyway. Oh yeah. I don't think that did anything at all. Okay. Now let's let's put a little bit of life in this here. Let's maybe we got a little brick or something right here. This little one. Maybe it goes like that. Maybe it kind of comes into the shadow a little. It kind of fades into the shadow. I don't know. It'll come over like that to be helping a lot. It'll go like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit of this in there. Just, you know how concrete is. It's kind of, kind of got a mind of its own. We're going to go ahead and mix our gray and our black here. Let's see. See, maybe we have a shadow right here. Maybe the shelf on the other side has a friend over here. And two friends sitting on a concrete wall, just being shelves. Maybe, maybe he has another friend right up here. A little bit darker. He's up in the corner where it's dark. He come down like this. Say hi. Say hi to his friend. And then maybe throughout here there's a couple little things here. We don't know. A little bit of texture. And just, just let it decide what it wants to do. This line looks a little lonely. Maybe, maybe he has a little. We like shadows in our concrete and we'll blend this in a little bit. And just oh boy that's nice. You can hear we're starting to get a little bit of wind going on and that's okay that's it's just one of God's creations. We're happy about it. We're just building the background for a, a car. Maybe it's sitting in a garage in my mind, you can you can have your car sitting in the garage in your mind, or maybe it's in your garage for real. I'll do the scribble method, see what that does. That doesn't do anything for us with the black. Maybe that's just a, something that happens with the gray. Okay, let's bring our black up, up the side a little. We'll just. Run right into the gray. Hi, gray. Oh, hi, black. Now's the exciting time. We're going to move into our reds. And we've got uh, two different reds here. They may look about the same on, on camera, but this one's a very, very brilliant red, and this one's got a little bit of an orange to it. So we'll go ahead and put them on and see, see how they look. It's time for a drink. Now, I feel like since we're friends, I should tell you that there's an adult beverage in this glass. Oof, a very adult beverage. <clears throat> you can get these on our website at www.neverdoneusa.com if you'd like to support our channel. A little bit more. Whew. Okay. I'm feeling creative. Ooh, that's nice. Just... Throw a little bit of red in there. A little splash of color. It's okay, we'll just we'll just get wacky out here. Look at that. A little bit crazy, but that's alright. Isn't that neat looking? A little bit more water. Take some more of that dark red there. Scrub it in there, maybe. Maybe not. It's your painting, you can do it how you like. Ooh, that looks nice there. Look at that. Like a little wave. Happy little wave. Maybe over here we need just a little bit. Maybe this this one runs over to here. Maybe it goes just across. Just a little bit and then maybe right here he has a little friend. They're gonna meet up later. There. I'll just let those mix together. We've got a little gray and black and red party going on. 
They're having a nice time. They're probably enjoying some some of the same types of drinks that I'm having. That looks like we've got a background now, friends. I think it's time to start drawing our car. So because I have no training or knowledge about how to do this, we're just going to uh, we're just gonna go for it and see how it turns out. Way up here. I don't know. Let's just go with it. And it comes down. We're just gonna try to develop a roof line here. Let's say right about here. Maybe it comes over, comes across, comes right back up and meets. Right there. And a happy little windshield. Just excited to show the driver his world that lays out ahead of him. A little more water. Seems to make it go a long ways. Just like that. Look at that. Boy, I can already see myself on a road trip in this little car. Just a happy little car. Black windshield. <clears throat> Looking out over God's creations. This is going to be a fast car, so let's add a vent right here for cooling down the brakes. A happy little brake cooler vent right here. Just like this. Maybe it comes over like that. Something like that. A little bit of a bulge. A little bit of a wide body car. Maybe we're just going to go across that like that. We didn't need that there. I think we're going to turn this into a Ferrari. Not just any Ferrari. Let's turn it into the La Ferrari. That's one of my favorite exotic cars. In fact, if I could only choose one exotic car to have, I think that's the one I'd choose. Interesting story about that car. Ferrari built that car with the intention of that being the finest car that they had ever built. That was the pinnacle of their achievement up to that point. And that was duly named. It was named the Ferrari because it was a an accurate representation of their capabilities at that time. And it was something that was so special to them that no other name would do than the Ferrari. The Ferrari of all Ferraris. And I think that that's something that's really pretty special to be so pleased with your work that the best name that you can give it is the name of the company that you've worked so hard to, to build a name for. All the way around. Just like that. Oh, that looks nice. Maybe up into the black a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how to paint. We're just, we're just learning as we go. We'll mix these two reds together. That'll, that'll give us a fun, fun color. A nice bright shade of red. Nice happy red. We like happy colors. We're just painting what we enjoy. We enjoy La Ferraris over here at Never Done. So. That's what we're going to paint. Nice La Ferrari. Happy La Ferrari. I look forward to reading your comments below. Tell me where I can improve or what you enjoyed about this process that we're working through together. Just like friends do. Looks like we've got a little bit of a spot in there. and That's okay. We can go back in and touch that up later. And shove our brush in there, it'll be all right. It's like that. Scrub it in there good once you get it jammed in. You know, I'll tell you, I haven't done this before, but I might do it more often. This is really kind of fun. Although I'm not using wine, it's still the same effect, I believe. We're just going to fill all this in with this happy red here. And then we'll go back in and we'll 
add some details. We'll add the vents and the lights and things like that. We'll get there when we get there. We're not in a hurry. You know, that's one of the nice things about painting, I think, that people find is that there's no time frame when you're just painting for yourself. It's just about enjoying the journey. Just like that. I'm gonna scrub it in there again. Really nice. You know, I'd be really interested to see some of the paintings that you guys have done. Maybe you can tag us on our social media, on Facebook or Instagram, at NeverDoneUSA. Just tag us. Here's my painting, my car painting that I did. I'd love to see the kind of work you guys are doing. And the LaFerrari has a little bit of a point down on the front. So we'll bring her on down there so that it can point just like that. There will be some grill vents over here. Whoops, that's all right. We don't make mistakes. We just have happy surprises. Let's bring it on down. We like low cars. We slam our cars. We put them on airbags and coilovers and just put a happy little coilover on this car. A little race car coilover. And he likes going around corners fast. He's gonna have a nice low, nice low corner here. One of the defining characteristics of a LaFerrari is the side mirror, big swooping side mirror. So we'll start maybe right here. We'll swoop to right there. It probably looks like your girlfriend's eyebrows. Maybe she can help you paint this part. This vent's maybe gonna come up here. This is our, this is actually probably a, an air induction for our engine, now that I think about it. It's probably not a brake cooler, but I don't know. I'd have to look into it a little bit more. Know what I knew. Just down. Happy little duct right here. Sucking in air, sending it wherever it sends it. We don't know. Just like this. So maybe our headlight starts somewhere like this. And, oh, maybe it comes down about. Oh, let's see about that far. And it comes over this way. Comes over this way for a little while. And then it stops. So that's good. That's far enough. Then we'll go back up. And have an interesting little shape right here, something like that. Kind of like a hockey puck. Or hockey stick rather. And just Bring it right over here, right down. Happy little headlight. Just happy to be on the front of the car, seeing everything go by so fast. And don't worry if you don't like your headlight, you can change it. We're not building a car here, we're, we're working from our imagination. A little bit wider right there. I think that's looking pretty nice. Maybe right at the top it just does something like that. Something a little bit crazy. Not all headlights are a La Ferrari headlight. Nice big headlight so we can see the road ahead. 200 miles an hour. Oh, maybe. Maybe right in here. Maybe up a little higher. Yeah, something like that. We'll bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. This is a big grill. Right here. Clear down here. Clear over here. Right across. Happy, happy little grill. Breathing in all the air. Look at this grill. Those somewhere in there. I'll go ahead and fill it in. Nice open grill here. We've got plenty of room down to the bottom, so let's open her up a little bit. Mix up a little bit of water, a little bit of black, 
this one here. Run all the way down and open up right there. Just like this. This is where the corner of our chin spoiler is going to be. Onto our bottom of our spoiler, or our front bumper here. Just like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and define the bottom of the car. So we've got this here. Let's run right down here. Eh, something like this. There's the bottom. It's like that, right down low. Okay, let me just keep on going. Seems to be working okay so far, so why stop? Right to the end here. Like that. Nice to find edge for that front bumper. We might not be right on. That's okay. We don't have to be. Okay. Right out here. So our La Ferrari has a little vent here on the front. We've decided this is going to be about the middle. Oh, we'll go ahead and put in that that little middle piece. Looks like our paint's still wet down there, so maybe not. Maybe we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and put in our vent while we wait. This vent here just goes across like that. Something like that. We'll go ahead and mix a little bit of red with some black. Just like that. Maybe this little vent comes down, cuts across right there, gobbles up that nice fresh air. A hood vent. A lot of you guys probably have hood vents on your vehicle. Just like that, maybe over up here. Something like that. There. We don't need it to be perfect. It just needs to look like a little vent. Just like that. So this one here just kind of comes down. Something like that. And then over here we've got our fender. Let's say it comes into oh, a little ways. Maybe into about here. Nice big fender. We'll mix our red and our black. Give it a nice edge straight down just like that I'm going to bring it on in a little ways we want everybody to know we've got a nice big fender maybe it comes down just like this nice big nice big fender now this, this car here has the engine in the rear but we still want to have a place to put our paints. So we'll give it a hood. It'll come down like this. And it'll come down like this. And then we'll have a nice little place to open it, right? Like this. Just like that. There. Now we can open up our hood, get to our paints. This front bumper needs a place to hook on, so we'll hook it on right there. That way we know where it goes. Maybe this area back here I'd like to be a little darker. It's kind of a shadowy area. Okay, friends. Sometimes you just need to know when to take a step back and take a look at your work. So let's do that together. Let's take a step back and let's see. I think that looks nice. You know, for our first La Ferrari painting together, I think we've really done something special here. This is the happiest La Ferrari I think I've ever seen. Okay, friends, the time has come for me and this happy La Ferrari to call it a night. 
But I wanted to thank you for joining me on this journey. And I'd also like to ask you to please like and comment below. Maybe subscribe, click the little bell icon. That way you can stay up to date on all of our new videos. And for those of you who are not interested in painting, we do have various print media and posters available on our website, www.neverdoneusa.com. In the meantime, we'll catch you on the next one, and happy painting. And that's all the f*** I have to say.